Welcome, welcome, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about a strategy that you can use if you haven't got that much time in the day or, you know, you just get so emotional when you look at the charts, you just can't, you know, you make loads of emotional mistakes or anything like that. Or you just want an institutional order block um, strategy that is going to serve you well and that is used by institutions, at least for entries. Um, sometimes it's not the only thing that they use but it is a strategy in and of itself and if you master this with what the other thing that i'm going to teach you by the end it is going to work out extremely well for you but first off if you're new here my name is sam low and i help struggling traders break through to consistency now if you are new here i'd really appreciate you subscribing or if you've seen some other videos but you haven't subscribed yet i'd appreciate you doing that for me now. Uh, another thing is if you'd like to get coached by me personally and you'd like to apply for that opportunity, then I have got an application. Uh, I think it's the first link in the description box below. Now, I can't take everybody due to time constraints and you know only wanting to help the people that I know I can actually get results for. Um, and so for that reason, um, because of the uncertainty that you might um, not uh, get a place uh, just for signing up uh, at the end of the application once you've submitted it you will get access to the free telegram group chat it is not a signals group okay so if that's what you want just ignore it um, ignore that that's not what it is um, it's just where I'm going to be sharing some educational content um, you know answering some of your questions and um, you know just getting to know you guys a little bit more uh, sorry if you can hear my dog in the background um, and uh, and yeah so without further ado let's get into the content for these examples, I'm going to show it to you on the daily, but if you want to move this same principle down the time frames, that is absolutely fine. Okay, so I'm going to give you the structure that you're supposed to look for uh, and the exact entry that you need to take. Okay, so if you just took this video, um, you know, went with it and were consistent with it, I'm telling you, this is all that you need. Okay, so also I want to say before we get into it, sorry, I know I keep going on, um, but if you um oh yeah i also just want to mention that if you i also just want to mention quickly that any strategy that you pick you know i've got lots of strategies on my channel and the idea is not to just pick all of them and try them all out for sure try them all out if you're new but the real gold in trading in general is going to be to pick one and master that because if you don't do that not only are you going to, you're going to be bad at all the ones you're doing but you're also not going to make any progress and so you're going to be constantly stagnating and failing and small wins failing and it's just going to get a, a cycle of uh, of unfortunate um, events okay so what is an order block if we are going down this last down candle, okay, or this last, sorry, this, if we go down and then we start going up, okay, this last up candle, okay, when it, the low of that candle was violated, this becomes the order block. Technically, this does as well, but I don't want to confuse you and I'll get onto that in a minute, which is why I kind of stalled. Um, but let's just look for an example here. We can see that the structure of this market is down at this point in time, okay? Uh, and so um, we can see here that we have come down, we've gone up, and then we violated the low of this candle, this bullish, last bullish candle here. Okay. Now, the significance of this is when we come back up to re uh, come back up to these levels. Okay. These are levels that we should be paying massive attention to okay now there's also another thing where if you go up to 50 percent of that level that's also valid or just the top of it is absolutely fine now people draw these levels in different ways but i like to do it uh, this way because it is the most systematic i find okay because if it's a line you can't really argue with it now <clears throat> just to kind of clear this up and what we mean i'm going to just mark off a few order blocks okay so we've got an order block here Okay, this order block could also be placed here. By the way, I draw it from the bodies. Why could it be here, here or here? Well, because this is the last up candle before we had the move down. Okay, in the same way, 
uh, that this was the last down candle before we went up. So this would be an order block. Okay. And order blocks on their own, I don't think are a strategy. You need to have some kind of idea of the trend as well. Okay. So you can draw it from there or there. It's totally up to you. Uh, but what you'll find is with things like this, if you go to a time frame above, this will be a, um, uh, just an order block on a high time frame, but not always. Um, but let, let, let's just focus on the most recent to keep it simple. Okay. We have the most recent up candle. We break it down. Okay. Where's the next one? Well, we can see this is the last up candle and then we broke down. We could have it from that one or that one, your decision, okay? And you can also draw it from the wicks, okay? If you would prefer to draw it from the wicks, you are more than welcome to do that. In this case, we can see that it did bounce off the wicks, okay? Um, let me see one here because we came, this was the last up candle, we violated the low of that candle, we come back up and we hit it beautifully. Okay, we have another level here. In fact, it would probably be here. In fact, after we violated this, we came back up to test it and then came back down. Okay, and so if we draw another one, I'll just do a couple more of these. Um, this would be one here because this was the last up candle before we broke below the low and then we came back up and faked out above. Okay, now I'm not looking for the bullish examples here because we are going down. Okay, even here the structure is down and obviously we are looking in hindsight um, and as a general rule what you're going to be doing is you're going to be uh, using the 200 EMA for your direction, or you're just going to be using market structure. Okay, so whichever one you pick, I, just, I suggest that you pick one because they have two differing types of results and you're opening yourself up for more likelihood of, hit, uh, of hitting a losing streak. Okay, so let's just get rid of this for now. Okay, so this is the second part. Okay, once you can draw order blocks, you only look for sell order blocks below the 200 EMA or using market structure, only you look for sell order blocks when you are um, in a sell bias market and vice versa, if you're in a bull bias, so let's just say, you know, you saw this as bullish, you know, you could have an order block. The last down candle before we go up is here. And then you could do more over here, et cetera. So we can see that we respected this one nicely. Down candle violated up, came back and retested it perfectly. Okay. It just depends on how you are viewing the market. Okay. So, in this original one that I had marked out, I had this level marked out here, I believe. Okay. Now, if we look uh, and in real time, it's possible that I would have had both of these levels marked out. Okay. Now, the goal of the order blocks is not to determine where you're going to get a really, really pinpoint entry. Okay. Because there's a second part to understanding order blocks, and that is fake outs. Okay. Price will fake out more than it breaks out and order blocks is a perfect example of when to uh, listen to this okay we have our levels here okay we have these levels here and then we want to be going down once we get into this territory to our lower time frames okay and we want to be looking for breaks of structure so what do we see here we see we currently have a high here and we have some lower time frame structure here okay so for us to take a trade we want evidence that price is coming back and respecting these order blocks because don't get me wrong sometimes price will respect the order blocks perfectly but other times it will do a big fake out and come back and i've also found that the lower the time frame you go on the less likely the big fake outs are going to be or at least the fake outs don't seem as long because they're you know the, the time frames are going past so much faster so here we want to look for signs of the bears coming into the market. So at this point, we're still within this range. There's no evidence that we are going in either direction. Ah, but now what do we have? We have a very, very strong bearish push, okay? Now what do we have? We have a bullish candle, okay? Now we can enter off this, okay? This is a probably more aggressive form of doing it, you could wait for a deeper retrace, but I'm going to do this just because the level's here and I think that we can do this. Okay, so 
In terms of targets, a really easy way to target is target the next major order block. So for me, last down candle before we go up, I will be targeting down here. Okay, so let's see what happens. Let's watch it on our, in fact, let's go down before we do our entry, uh, just so that we're getting the best possible chance. Okay, let's wait before we enter. Okay, that's fine. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's put this back up here and then let's see what happens. Okay, we can probably go break even now. Okay, that would have stopped us out break even if you have that rule. Let's stay true to our analysis and go break even here. Okay, now what does this mean here? Does this mean, oh my God, this whole analysis has been wrong? No, it doesn't mean anything like that. Okay, we can see that we've still got our order block lines from our higher time frame here. Okay, and then if we zoom in on because we're on the one hour time frame, we can see a very clear area of um, resistance. Okay, now if you just wanted to use order blocks, you could easily zoom in here and look at a one hour order block. So for example, we have one here. Okay, so if we drew this in here, let's just put this over here to, and let's make this one blue so we can tell the difference. Let's make it a bit bigger. There we go. And so in the same way that we're anticipating a fake, fake out on the higher time frames, we're also anticipating a fake out here. What do we see? Well, we see it coming into this level. Looks like it's coming above. Second entry. For this, for the daily perspective, let's just do a 40 pip stop and then targeting the next levels down here and see what happens. Beautiful. Okay. This is why break-evens are not a problem or losses for that matter, they're just not a problem because it, when you have a winner like this and you have a systematic strategy, you know, if you let's we would break even here, even if this was a loss, we'd still be up in this case, two and a half R, whatever you're risking, but two and a half multiples um, just in that simple strategy. So I hope that makes sense. Um, the main concept here is remember if you're using the 200 ema when price is below the 200 ema you look for sell order blocks which is defined by the last up candle being violated to the downside if you were above the 200 ema you look for the last down candle that was violated to the upside and wait for price to return to that level okay and the second part is understanding fake outs okay because it would have been very easy to put you know a high here or a high here that's not wrong but the point is in forex whatever you whatever form of a strategy that you find that fits your personality that you find easy to see you should look at this and be like oh my god i see that oh my god I, there's not so much pressure for me to find the exact right level because instead um i'm just i can anticipate the fake out and i can cut down to my lower time frames and i can see um, when the lower time frame structure breaks and I can make a decision and enter based off of that. That is the secret to valuable trading and successful trading. So find what works for you. If this looks simple for you, if this looks easy to you, then do it. Doesn't mean that it's always going to be easy, but no strategy is. Okay. So just commit to one thing and, and go for it. So I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, I'd really, really appreciate you leaving a like and consider subscribing for future content like this and possibly even better than this. At least I hope so. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time. Uh, have a, a lovely rest of your day and happy trading.